Hey uh, everyone, Earthmaster here. It is July 5th, 2019, 8.15 p.m. here on the West Coast, California time. And uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe along with some data coming in there from uh, numerous stations around the globe. Um, one we're kind of watching right now um, is the Ridgecrest station there. Um, down there in Southern California area, um, I do have it marked up here underneath this little box right here you can you guys can see that uh, little spikes coming into the live data that uh, earthquakes right there not as active as it was this morning uh, or last night uh, but definitely still a lot of earthquake activity occurring within this region here I had to pull up a different station uh, it's called manual prospect mine which is still very close to the Ridgecrest area uh, for some reason I lost data on the other station I was watching. I'm not for sure why or what happened to the station uh, but uh, they stopped sending data uh, but now uh, over here on a new station and uh, we're watching further earthquake uh, activity occur um, within the same region there's as uh, well since uh, 6.4 hit uh, yesterday and as of right now we're talking about a tremendous amount of earthquake activity in Southern California. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So this is the latest uh, refreshed page from the Caltech website showing 1,736 earthquakes on this map. <clears throat> and the majority of those, I would say 99.9% um, were after the 6.4 magnitude earthquake that struck yesterday. Now, I can understand a few hundred, maybe six, seven hundred earthquakes or aftershocks, but we're talking almost 2,000 earthquakes, 2,000 aftershocks following this 6.4 magnitude earthquake. Now, if you watched my update video last night, I kind of showed you guys the area where this uh, little lake fault is at and uh, the size of it which is very very small compared to other faults around the area and also um, well the San Andreas you know it, uh, it's, it's the king of all faults down there but it's amazing how a 6.4 earthquake can uh, occur on this little bitty fault system that's only a few miles wide or a few miles long and very um, with all these aftershocks too, that's that is kind of puzzling. Um, but uh, we're still keeping an eye on it. Um, I'm guessing by morning time we'll probably see closer, if not exceeding 2,000 earthquakes um, within this area. Now, I want to show another map here a little bit closer, or a little bit different detail. And this map here from the USGS is. Uh, 2.5 and above over the last week. Now I didn't want to go and blow up my computer showing every single earthquake that took place in here because sometimes it does that. Uh, at least the maps tend to freeze up a little bit. But um, So this here is just a 2.5 and above over the last and it looks like we just had a... what do we got there? Okay, so another earthquake up there just popped in. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit and show you guys. Uh, now once again, this is just 2.5 and above over the last week, which is still a tremendous amount of earthquake activity. Yes, there has been um, you know a couple, a couple more moderate sized ones, um, like this one that just popped up here, this little red dot. Uh, what is that, a uh, 4.8? So almost a magnitude 5 earthquake right there that just popped up. Um, I'm pretty sure we've seen that on that uh, the graph that uh, dated. Actually, you know why? It is just coming in, folks. Let me show you guys here. Just coming into the live data here. Let me get rid of this map and you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. That's at 4.6. Is that right? 4.8. I take it back. I want to show you guys what the 4.8 looks like here on the data that's coming in. 
you'll see it being picked up on pretty much all of the stations uh, in Southern California because 4.8 is pretty significant right there. Also down in the San Diego region as well, that 4.8 is being picked up. Um, wow, so yeah, pretty, uh, pretty significant earthquake right there. Showing up on the San Andreas and Hollister, also Mammoth Lakes, uh, even up in Mendocino, northwestern California, picking it up as well. You can see a little bit of a signature right there. So yeah, very uh, interesting activity there. 4.8. They may revise it. I don't know. It looks pretty. Uh, looks pretty strong. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like right there when a, a fairly uh, good-sized quake comes in. Um, getting back to this other map here real quick. Um, let's see, is it still 4.8? Yes, 4.8. No doubt, and I'm sure quite a few folks felt it. Uh, looks as though it's close to the surface. They may revise it. I don't believe it's been reviewed. This is probably the automatic system, automated system, uh, registering this earthquake and putting out that notification there. So it probably will get reviewed. Uh, it may be upgraded. It may be downgraded. And then, of course, the depth will be looked at as well and adjusted once a seismologist checks it out. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah, 2.5 and above, for folks, over the last week. Um, and you can see it spread out over a significant area. Um, and we're down to the one, one mile scale right here. So we're looking at... Uh, I don't know if, if you guys can see that scale right here that I'm looking at. Pop it in here. Might have to shrink this up a tad bit. Hold on a second here. So you guys can see the scale. Um, where is it? Okay, it's all the way down here. Wow. Okay, so we're looking at a one mile scale right here. I'm going to bring this down here for you. Um, and it's definitely uh, drawn out here lengthwise and possibly widthwise over here towards the north as well over about 10 miles or so maybe maybe from this point up here down to here we're looking at a good uh 10 15 miles spread out and the fault system that this has taken place on is the little lake fault and that is uh let me, let me zoom in just a tad bit more so i can see exactly where it's at um Okay, I'm not seeing it here. At least not on my side. I'm not for sure why. Do I have the faults on? I'm pretty sure I do because these are faults down here. Interesting. Let me double check here real quick. Yes, I do have US faults on. Huh. Okay, for some reason I'm not... not picking it up for some oddball reason. Anyway, folks, um, it's a very small fault, and it's not uh, a significant size uh, area. Although there's many fault systems down there, it's, uh, it's a very small one. So a 6.4 on this very small fault system is puzzling, uh, to say the least. And then including all the uh, tremendous amount of aftershocks and the spread out activity of it, you can kind of see a kind of a... Uh, Oh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a boomerang, you know, with a, with a move with a moment or a movement towards the east, pointing towards the east. There, if you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, there. Let me bring this down. A little boomerang uh, type effect, um, and that's uh, it's very interesting here. Most of the activity, the newer activity, is kind of making its way towards the north. There, you can see the orange earthquakes or the orange circles indicating a uh, fairly recent earthquake activity with that 4.8 um, being north of the 6.4 that struck yesterday and also um, further activity to the north showing up today. Um, so we're going to have to definitely keep an eye on that. I, I just don't think this is over by a long shot here. Um, I posted an article on my Facebook page about uh, how there's a... Uh, Oh, a thing going around that earthquakes like this relieve 
relieve stress you know on, on the plates on other plates and whatnot and will prevent the big one that's that is completely false completely false and that's coming from me that's been coming from me for a long time and it's also coming from uh, the, the pros you know the USGS seismologist uh, they put that out that uh, that this does not necessarily delay the big one in fact it's possible it could it could uh, well it could stir it up and it could happen sooner than later so uh, you know that's why I'm keeping this stream up and going and hold on a second here just got a notification about a really large quake coming in here hold on a second here for some reason my globe just got dropped down there let's see here okay I am not seeing that earthquake that someone text just text me about I'm not for sure why uh, someone posted that there was a 7.1 coming in um well you know what that's very possible that that's just what happened okay hold on a second folks this is all live so I'm kind of I'm kind of in puzzlement and confusement right now probably as much as you guys are uh, let me check out the graphs here Ooh, a significant size earthquake down there in Southern California right now I do not see that on the earthquake 3d globe uh, let me bring this back up here and get the heck out of here let's back out of here and see where that big earthquake just took place at okay I am not seeing it on the USGS map and I'm not for sure why hold on this is still an update video and also live right now so I am um, trying to get this information coming in here um, I'm not in chat either so sit tight please Okay, well, whatever it was, just knocked the station off there in Ridgecrest. Okay, so there's the earthquake showing up right there on the globe. Looks like a pretty significant quake. Let me see where that's at here. Uh, let's go bring these magnitudes down a little bit. Looks like a 6.9 magnitude earthquake just struck Southern California. That's this, uh, that is very significant there. 6.9 earthquake just struck there in Southern California region. I'm trying to get some more information on it, folks, so sit tight. Very significant activity occurring right now. So anyway, like I've been mentioning, folks, about the activity in Southern California, it was something to watch. I mentioned last night that we're looking at possibly a larger quake happening within the next day or so, and we are happening to see that before our eyes right now. Uh, no prediction made, but definitely a major quake has just hit. You can see it showing up also on Wichita Mountain Station there in Oklahoma. That is absolutely amazing, and some uh, some data coming in here. That's pretty crazy. Um, so I'm going to stop this update video, but I'm going to continue here with the live stream right now. Um, so yeah, um, peace out on the video. I will continue this 